We'll open with a statement from head coach Muffet McGraw, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes. It's, a, it's hard right now to remember what a great season this was, but uh, I think that's what we, you know, we need to reflect back and, and think about um, getting here. Uh, tonight's game was incredibly disappointing for all of us, uh, in particular the seniors. I know how much they wanted it, and I wanted it for them. But Connecticut was, uh, they just overpowered us. They, they killed us inside, and their, uh, their bigs were just too much for us. I thought Stewart was phenomenal. Um, you know, Dolson, 16 and 17, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I thought we, we were just, we were overmatched in the post. And uh, I thought if they could have, we, we could have made them go to their bench a little bit earlier in the second half, we might have had a chance. But um, I thought that's when we made our run in the first half. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't have to go to their bench in the second half, so. We have Kayla McBride and Michaela Mabry. We'll take questions for the student athletes. Right down here. John Glennon with the Tennessean. Uh, it's for Kayla. Um, can you talk a, a little bit about the, the, the dominance that the UCAL had inside? And, and would Natalie have made uh, somewhat of a difference in that regard tonight, you think? Um, you know, I, I think that we just came out under match. I don't think anything could have changed to change that. They just came out and they went directly in the post and uh, our help side wasn't there um, from the get-go. So they, they got comfortable, they got into a rhythm and it, was, it just went downhill from there. Question right here. Teresa Walker to the Associated Press uh, for either of you. Uh, <laughs> How much was UConn kind of affecting your shooting? You, you kind of had little stretches where you know just couldn't get shots to fall. How much was it the football not just going in, or how much was UConn affecting that? I think a lot of it was ourselves. I think we were we were kind of beating beating ourselves. We weren't in the rhythm of our offense. We weren't making the extra pass. We weren't playing the normal way that we've been playing these past 37 games. And I think that's what made it look look so bad. Anything else for the student athletes? Right here. Yeah. Uh, again, for for Kayla. Um, as the coach was talking about, is, is it difficult right now to, to look back and, and think about how good a season it is when, when it ends in, in this manner? No, I'm proud of these girls regardless. Um, we've, we've been through so much this year, so much adversity. Um, if you look at Mike and, and what our bench has done this year, I couldn't be more proud of them. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else or playing for anyone else or playing with anyone else. Question over here on the end. McKellie, um, McKellie, you held your own with them on the boards for a half. I believe it was 20 to 18 at halftime, and then came out and just completely overpowered you in the first five minutes of the second half. What, what happened that, that, that allowed them just to completely do that? Um, you know, we really weren't boxing out at all. We weren't getting a body on them. And um, to begin with, they're, they're bigger than us. And I think, you know, we tried to make that a point at halftime to box it out and get a um, body on them. But, you know, we came out, we, we really didn't do that. So. I think that's where they got most of their offensive rebounds. Anything further for the student athletes? OK, thank you, ladies. The Notre Dame locker room is open until 10.20. We'll take questions now for Coach McGraw, right here. Teresa Walker of the Associated Press. Uh, Muffet, when you shook hands there with Gino after the game, uh, what did you all say to each other? Um, I said something like, I thought we were playing the Miami Heat for a while. Um, you guys are just that good. Um, what a great season, you know, things like that. I thought they were just missing LeBron was the only thing they were missing. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you. We'll take, actually, we have one more. The shooting, you guys have been shooting the ball so well all season long, beyond the uh, three-point line, et cetera. How, what did you see that was not working tonight, and, and how disappointing when you've been that good all year? Well, their defense was, was very good. When you have somebody like Stewart on the perimeter, she's such a good shot blocker. You know, I, I think that that made it a little bit more difficult. They were looking to double, I thought, a little bit more. Um, you know, the post was stepping out and trying to take the guard, and they had a lot more size um, with that. And, and you know, a, a little bit of it, I think, was just the bad start. Then we were pressing. You know, we were really, we were just trying so hard, and, and we went 
one on one instead of, you know, our, our game has been team and uh, you know assists and and working the ball together. And I thought we tried to go a little bit too much off the dribble. Question over here. Muffet, Gino said before the game you, you couldn't match up against both Kayla and Jewel. It looked like they just concentrated on taking Jewel out of the game, and they did. Look, they just uh, were you surprised by how well effectively they were able to do that. Well, no, I don't think they get enough credit for their defense. You know, they're they're a good defensive team, and uh, you know Jefferson is uh, kind of like a net. She was she was really feisty. Um, you know, Kmac was able to still get her shots, but um, yeah, Jules struggled a little bit to find her rhythm tonight. And I think you have to credit their defense for that. Question over here on the side. Yeah, coach, you guys battled back late in the first half, and I imagine felt decent where you were at halftime. What changed right at the start of the second half when they went on another run, though? We made our run when they went to the bench. You know, we went to the triangle in two. It was very effective. We made some shots. Uh, I think we got into a little bit of a rhythm on our own. Um, and then in the second half, they didn't sub. And, and that was the difference. We, we couldn't go to the triangle with their starters. Uh, we couldn't play them man-to-man, -man and we couldn't play them zone. So, you know, they, they just they went off and running. We couldn't rebound. And we, we had no answer, really, for anything they did. Anything else in the back? Muffet, what did this, this senior class for you mean to the culture of what basketball is at, at Notre Dame? I, I think they changed the culture, the expectation level. Uh, I think they set the bar really high. Um, they've achieved so much in four years, and all of them have contributed a great deal to it in, in so many ways, on and off the court with leadership, um, you know, and, and the basketball part as well. But it's going to be a really hard class to, to let go of. Uh, this, this was a real emotional one for me. And, uh, you know, this group has really meant a lot to me personally, too.